1918. When it's all over, things will be in rightful places. In the sidings, the strewn shreds, light as tobacco flakes, will rewind into wagon loads of rope. At the willows, the wrought iron gates will refuse their ornate tracery behind the six foot sleeper as it retracts its oaken bulk back across Hartlepool Road. As far away as Trimden or Puddingpoke, the soft fields will relinquish ordinance that they had tucked intact into their cleavage so that it may be ruled property of the Kaiser, waggishly offered for collection in person. The Baptist organ will fall dormant. That one beautiful shell-struck chord will recoil into the smashed facade, bricks darning the aperture. Melodies will lie docile in the throats of pipes, waiting for instructions, like women who have returned from factories to sit beside the lit home fires, watching for the demobbed in their former clothes. Sons will be home by Christmas. Fathers sit once more in the carver. Limbs will reattach to Belgian trees. Barbaric Huns will remain inside redrawn lines. Medals will pinpoint all the right chests. The black crude of Persia will flow into our coffers. All coffins eventually will be reordered into respectful avenues. Trestle tables will take to our streets. Vindication will sweeten our cups of tea.